welcome to the crowning ceremony for the Kings in San Francisco. Thank you all for making your way here, especially on this windy day. We know it's been busy, there's been some graduations and a lot of celebrations. So thank you for making your way here. I'm King Jonathan Piper II, second, call me King JP. And it's been an honor to be working with the Kings and the young leaders at the school. We've been at Presidio and at Willie Brown, and these students are really packed into what's going on. So we've been at these schools working on a wide car project called Youth Participatory Action Research. And that is why we are here to celebrate and to also learn what the, what the students have come up with. So to open up, I'm the master of ceremonies, but I would love for us to be grounded with an ancestral libation. So please give it up for Douglas Farrow Stewart. Give thanks. How's everybody feeling out here tonight? All right, all right. It's still the day, right? It's still the afternoon. That's up. So for this ancestral kind of libation, I want everybody that is capable to stand up. We're giving honor and thanks to the ancestors here. So everybody, please rise up, rise up, rise up. This is how we do it and how we give thanks and give it back. So everybody say Sankofa, 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 Sankofa. All right, all right. And if you don't know, that's an ancient Akan word meaning to give back, to go back to our, our past and understand and bring that wisdom and the knowledge forward. So with that being said, the libation is really cooling off the water. You know, there's maybe a lot of, you know, misnomer, misnomers about what libation actually means, but it's cooling off the water giving it back to the earth for us to be here. So I'm giving a, a, an ancient Yoruba script as to what the libation means. And um, take heed. Omi Tutu. Ona Tutu. Ile Tutu. Tutu Laroye. Kosiku. Kosi Onu, Kosi Eyo, Kosi Afo, Kosi Anopa, Kosi Akuba, Kosi Adina, Kosi Arun, Aiko Babawa. Olobadale Mojuba, Olonji Oni Mojuba, Eladaye Mojuba, Olefi Mojuba, Ela Mojuba, Okoda Asheda Mojuba. Translation means we're cooling off the water, we're cooling the road and the pathways for access, we're cooling off the access to us here in the earth. We're being the cool messengers of Oshun. That there be no death. Let there be no anxiety, let there be no dread, let there be no fear, let there be no tragedy, no mishaps or calamity. We're all blessed, we're all protected. Let there be no loss, let there be no confusion or no quarrels. Let there be no undeserved punishment or unforeseen evil. Let there be no hindrance or no barricades, let there be no illness or disease. We have to stand up as a community and make sure that we're protecting and respecting oneself and making sure that we're taking care of us for us. Sankofa! 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 So right about now, we're about to drop and spread. And the brother asked, should I be dropping it into a plant? Um, we're dropping it into the earth. The earth is our bearing. The earth is, 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 is Mother Earth. The earth is, is, is where we all come from and are sourced from. So whether it be concrete, whether it be uh, soil, we all have to get back to this essence of who we are and which we come from. So therefore, I'm just sprinkling some ashe. Say ashe. 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 So let's uh, take a moment to, to give something back for the ancestors as well. So. As we're calling out the names of those who have passed before us, the calamity that's taken place in Texas and Buffalo, New York, and Sandra Blands and the Oscar Grants and the Umiyabu, who we still here with us, 
the Malcolms, <laughs> you know, and others that have passed before us, the Harriet Tubmans. We say Ashe. Ashe. But we also say Mojuba. 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 That's right. And that just gives thanks and just brings reverence to who we are and where we come from. So, that being said, Ashe. Mojuba to all the ancestors. Mojuba. Mojuba. Those that passed before us, we say Mojuba. Mojuba. Those that are still rocking with us right now, protecting these young kings and queens, we say Mojuba. Mojuba. Moving forward, what we can do and how they're going to make our dreams come true, we say Mojuba. Mojuba. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bless. And we say Ashe. 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 All right. And I got one little piece I want to share with you. So we gather, we gather for the ancestors who have come before and for the ancestors yet to be born. We gather, we gather to share these stories of our teachers, our mothers and fathers, sons and daughters, those who have sacrificed and survived, those who have carved out timeless memories, those who have left their seeds of wisdom so that we can grow new gardens, so that we can plant new trees, so we can nourish and respect old roots and traditions. So we can carry on spirited songs of resiliency, freedom, and hope. Sankofa, Sankofa, Mojuba, Mojuba, Sankofa, Sankofa, Mojuba, Mojuba. We gather for peace, for unity, for harmony, for protection and resurrection. Because of the lack of harmony will be the harm in me. Because of the lack of harmony will be the harm in we. So we must gather, we must share, we must dance, we must laugh, we must remember, we must play, and we must honor Mother Earth. We must cherish Father Time so we can love, so we can find peace, so we can spread balance, so we can embrace unity, so we can celebrate harmony. So we gather today for everybody here and those that aren't here so we can give thanks for this garden that's growing connected to the Most High, so we can manifest all of these blessings for today, tomorrow, and yesterday. Sankofa, Sankofa, Mojuba, Mojuba, Sankofa, Sankofa, Mojuba, Mojuba. Give thanks, blessings, blessings, yes, blessings. Hey, 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 hey. Give it up again for Douglas Farrell Stewart for that libation. Woo! That is the first of, of uh, that style I have witnessed, and I'm so grateful to have witnessed that. It was such an ironic moment to hear that alarm and to think about the kings who are in the class and the queens as well when they're fighting against the distractions of the outside world and they're trying to get their education. And I just witnessed a lot of young individuals who are very focused up here, so it was very empowering to see that they do have focus. They have the attention, and if we provide them with curriculum that is reflective of their ancestors, of their culture, and things that they want to learn, they will give us that, that attention. So if we have any educators in the room, and even the parents, because y'all know y'all be learning from us as well, uh, we just got to engage with them with something they want to pay attention to, and they will, right? So now to give a welcome, an opening welcome, in addition to the libation, but an, uh, a welcome uh, from the school district, please give it up for Brother Bobby Pope after his photo op. <laughs> Thank you. Um, there is a tell you ride out there. If you're driving a tell you ride, that is your alarm going off. All right, we, we found out who it was. Gre greetings, greetings. Greetings, we just want to welcome folks and thank you for coming out. Um, it has been a long and challenging year, but we have made it to this point. So just can we give a round of applause to the teachers and students. For those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Brother Bobby Pope, and I'm the program manager for the Master in Culture Identity course. Um, 
here with me is Brother Adrian Henderson, the program manager for Kingmakers in Oakland. Um, again, um, I just want to welcome everyone and thank folks for taking time to come out and be here with us on this Wednesday evening. We know that life is extremely busy and there's many other things you could be doing, but you're taking time to come out here and be with us and to celebrate the students uh, for the great work they've done this year. Uh, with that said, I'm going to hand it over to Brother A.D. Yo, what's up, y'all? Just first and foremost, I want to say it's a blessing to be here today. It's a blessing to be here to celebrate our culture. It's a blessing to be here to celebrate legacy. That's why we're here today. Celebrate legacy and to celebrate our young people, to celebrate our teachers, to celebrate our ancestors, and to celebrate our traditions. And so I just want to say welcome, enjoy the food, continue towards excellence. I want to thank Brother Bobby Pope as well, I've been on my right hand side as we work the San Francisco Unified School District. But we just want to say welcome and thank you for being here. Bless. Now, can you, can you continue clapping your hands for a moment? I want to acknowledge the amazing Mr. Adrian Henderson. We have so much love and gratitude for him. And I, I mean, I do. As well. I have so much respect for this man. I would not be able to be in the spaces with our students if he had not brought me along um, and was like, I need somebody who can be there with me, right? And he's been in the classroom with the, with the students. He has over 25 years of experience working with them. And he's continuing the work and just bringing that in. So I have a lot of gratitude. And I just want to make sure he gets his flowers right now. Um, he's also the reason you only have that amazing food from Kingston 11. So that's another reason to put your hands together and just show him some love. <laughs> There we go. So now with our African drumming uh, portion of the, of the event, please give it up for Brother Ali from Senegal.
Now, a show of hands, how many of that, how many of y'all was that your first time experiencing something like that? Ooh, okay, I see a lot of hands. So shouldn't learning and education be about learning new experiences? So why are our textbooks back from 19 so-and-so, right? Why are we still learning old information? So Kingmakers of Oakland believe strongly in improving the way culture and curriculum is uh, provided to our kings and queens. And one of the ways we do that is through music to, to so to show y'all how Kingmakers of Oakland gets down and to express to y'all how um, our album has been this last year, please give it up for Alonzo Henderson, AKA Anti Hero 510. I said, make some noise for Alonzo Henderson, Anti Hero 510. She, she ended up to say the whole government, though. Yo, 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 what's going on, y'all? How y'all feeling? I say, how y'all feeling? Hey, we're here to celebrate these kings, you know what I'm saying? They've been doing some extraordinary work, and we real, real proud of them. Um, I'm with, I work with King Makers of Oakland. I'm on the, the street team, you know what I'm saying? I work with everybody, but I'm about to perform some of the music that I made on the King Makers of Oakland album, so let's get it. Hey. You turn me up a little bit. Hey, hey. As the leaves fall and the wind blow, I'm just sitting reminiscing on my kinfolk. Speakers blaring as I'm staring out that window. Take every L as a lesson and we gon' win more. I took that pen to that paper, reset my spirit free. Mic check one, two, make sure they're hearing me. Rockin', king makers, these the makers of a king. Yeah, we play the game to win. I'ma take one for the team, nah, me. Cause these my brothers that we speaking of. Right now, can't have no conversation, you ain't speaking love. And we gon' hold our students down and lift our teachers up. We gon' and play this in the hood so we can reach the thugs and let my brothers and my sisters know it's more to life because they weapon cannot prosper if your form is right you saw the light because you flipping the switch we gonna change the storyline and get to flipping the script it's all love it's all praise to above i was made for it pray for it stay for it it's all love come on just say what it was i was made for it pray for it stay for it it's all love just say what it was make a way for it pray for it stay for it it's all love hey hey it's all love Hey, hey, I said when I say king, y'all say makers. King, king, when I say king, y'all say makers. King, king, I said when I say king, y'all say makers. King, king, I said when I say king, 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 makers. King, hey, it's all love. It's all praise to above. I was made for it, pray for it, stay for it, love. It's all love. Just say what it was, make a way for it, pray for it, stay for it, it's all love. Just say what it was, make a way for it, pray for it, stay for it, it's all love. Just say what it was, make a way for it, pray for it, stay for it. Hey, hey, yo, it's an honor to be here rocking with y'all today, man. Appreciate y'all. We got these, uh, we got these albums out right now. Uh, the first album is called Kings in the Making. The second album is called Revolutionary Remix. The third album, which we just dropped not like a month ago, is called Black Joy, and we're in the process of working on Black Love right now. So give it up for Kingmakers of Oakland one time, one time, you feel me? Yes, sir. It's an honor rocking with these brothers. I got one more. Y'all ready for one more? Yeah. All right, for sure, for sure. Let's get it. out my life today yeah, yeah you can sing with me if you want to i said i'm gonna strive today yeah, yeah. hey i'm gonna strive i'm live out my life today yeah yeah hey hey i said i'm gonna strive today yeah hey hey i'm gonna live out my life today yeah 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 i said i'm gonna strive today yeah yeah hey Hey, I said I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, hey, 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 
Uh, free as a bird, they ain't clipping my wings. Multifaceted, I cry my hand at different things. You gotta keep a mindset when you get with the king. And royalty, the mindset when you get with the kings. Huh, my head clear, my location remote. And I ain't with no funny business, don't take it as a joke. They been trying to kill our spirits, had us chained to a boat. But now, of our situation, we be making the most. Cause I too sing America. The darker brothers shining bright, so they gon' stare at us. Just keep on looking, cause we cooking something special up. It's not a race, it's a marathon, we catching up. Huh. Now put your fist up, brother, sisters, get up. No, we cannot give up. No, we cannot give up, cuz it's us on the horizon. It's us who gon' put on for the people, make the system switch up. Gonna strive today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. I'm gonna live out my life today. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna strive today. Yeah, yeah, hey, hey. I'm gonna live out my life today. Yeah, yeah, hey. Hey, hey, misguided brother from the streets are more like him. Can't see just what's in front of him, just like he foresighted, indicted. System see his skin, get excited, can't fight it, cause the judge gon' judge him with a bias. Mama frightened, know what he doing, just like she's psychic. Know he walk the path where your laces best be tightened. Know this they gon' tell you live, they gon' bite it. Hey, Try to feed you in that box, you better not tice it. Stay the move, uh, homie, stay in school. Hey, you know what this the move. And my brother's here, we can't make us and we in the groove. Hey, you, this the move, my brother John on the side, yeah, we finna ride, hey, we, we gon' slide, we gon', we gon', we gon' slide, hey, King Megas, hey, King Megas, hey, hey, I said, I said, I said, when I say King, y'all say Megas, King, King, I said, when I say King, y'all say Megas, King, King, I said, when I say King, y'all say Megas, King, Megas, King makers, and I say king, y'all say makers, king, king, much love, y'all, much love. Woo! Hey, y'all, give it up to our, our very good host, Brother Jonathan Piper. Yes, sir, come back to the mic, brother. Thank you, thank you, appreciate that, bro. Anti-Hero 510, an artist, we also have music on all platforms, King Makers of Oakland. Uh, the Revolution Remix, we have The Kings in the Making, and we have Black Joy. So if you want some amazing music, you can listen to it in the car with your full family, your grandma, your mom, your dad, and your little sister included. I suggest you cop The Kingmakers of Oakland soundtrack right now. We're going to empower you with words and make sure you know who you are. We got Bro Bobby coming back up. You got an announcement for us? Yes, yes. So we're going to get to that in just a moment. Um, but I would like to invite up. Yes, yes. Can I bring uh, some, some street team members up right quick? To, okay, okay. Just have to get some approval. But uh, I have some family up here in the building. I got two of my brothers. We're not biological, but we share the work. So give it up for Mr. Faya Akubar and Cedric Johnson. Hey, Faya! The third, right? So we are the Kingmakers of Oakland, members of the street team. Um, and we came together to be needs responsive when the pandemic started. We knew that students weren't in schools and that was gonna affect how they worked together um, and how the culture was gonna be for those students. And so we didn't want that to happen. We decided we needed to get the street team together. All of us have different creative talents and we're fresh out of high school. Some of us are, some of them were still in high school and we used our positions in our community to make something happen. I'm gonna have my brothers just share some words and also let you know the events that we had going on for the students while we were doing virtual learning. I was gonna say pandemic learning, virtual learning. It's all so many titles, but it, we all know that experience, right? You can't put a different name on that. So without further ado, my two brothers. Bay Area, make some noise. Come on, I know y'all can do a little bit better than that. Bay Area, make some noise. If you love being black, make some noise. And you know that nobody like us, make some noise. What's going on? Good evening. My name is Shedra Johnson. I'm all the way from Seattle, Washington. I'm a part of the street team here at King Makers of Oakland. Just honored to be here. First off, give a hand for yourself. Give a hand for yourself. Give a hand for yourself. It is amazing to see all these young up and coming kings. This is the work that we do. This is the work that we want to be about. From the manhood development program all the way down to the very last member of the street team. This is what we do it for. It's not just about us. It's not about you. It's not about me, but it's about the children. 
all right? It's about the kids. It's about making sure the next generation is better than me and because the previous generation made sure that I could succeed them. So it's all about them. It's all about the next generation. Give a hand for the next generation. Next generation of leaders. The ones that sit next to some, gonna be a pre there's gonna be a, gonna be a black president in here. You never know. You never know what we could accomplish together as a unit. But I wanna say thank you, first off, thank you to uh, Bob C, to Brother A.D., to everybody that's involved. Give a hand for everybody that's been involved in this event today. Much appreciation. Uh, this is work that they do constantly and consistently. You know, one thing that we are lacking in the black community is consistency. But if we can remain consistent and we can continue to do work like this, I promise you, this is not the last time you will see key makers of Oakland. King makers of San Francisco, king makers of Seattle, king makers of Atlanta, wherever, we have to remain consistent. Just a little bit about what we do on the street team. We had a lab for this past, um, this past year. It was amazing, 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 amazing. And I wanna say thank you to everybody who was on that. It was virtual, it was amazing, it was something that was life-changing from each and every topic that was given to each and every person that was presented and who was participating, I am so grateful. And I wanna shout out to all the parents. All the parents, give yourselves a hand. All the guardians, the parents. I wanna publicly say thank you. Thank you for giving Kingmakers a chance to invest in your children's lives. If you have not been paying attention to what's going on, our children are being taken from their futures. It is important that we love our kids, that we show them their worth, that we tell them every day that we love them, that we show them that they are going to be great, that they are going to be greatness, that they have something to live for because you never truly know what's going to happen when your son or your daughter leaves the house and you don't even know if they're going to be fully protected. But today, on this day, everybody under the sound of my voice is going to be successful because you are here. So once again, give a hand clap for yourself. Give a hand clap for yourself. So once again, my name is Shedder Johnson. Uh, I'm representing the Seattle chapter of Kingmakers, but I once again want to say thank you to all the parents for taking time out to let us be there for your children. And I guarantee you on Zoom, wherever I'm being recorded, you will not regret the amount of attention and time you are allowing us to invest into your children. And I promise you, they are gonna be even more greater today because you allow them to be here. Thank you so much, I appreciate your time. Um, first and foremost, I just wanna say thank y'all for coming out. Um, and you know, it's inspiring to see like Kings, cause I've been in this organization since I was 10 years old. And I'm 16 now, so I've been in this organization for six years, and it's just inspiring to see that it's still going, and that you know, God, <laughs> we, you know, what I'm saying it's still it's good to like see that you know we're continuing to work uh, in helping our, our young kings out and our young queens as well. Um, so I just want to say thank you for everybody that's keeping you know the movement going. Um, you know, your work is seen, your work is valued. I'm a, so before we move on, um, again, we did do a lot of work within this year. I want y'all to help me explain some of the events we've had, upset the setup, the lab, and let's explain to them a bit more what that is so they understand the fullness of that experience. So I'm just gonna take this time, sorry, we're short on time. I'm gonna take this time to say the lab was our opportunity to introduce virtual um, access. And so a lot of them are using TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, but we're not learning how to use these materials to our advantage. We're seeing all the toxic news on there, but we're not seeing the good news that reflect our culture. And so we wanted to bring in students into the space where we have adults who are using content and media to recreate the narrative. So if you do Twitch, which is a gaming site, but also a DJ site, I'm saying that because I'm a DJ, but uh, you can you know, listen to music, you can do gaming. How many of our black students know how they can make money by gaming with their friends and do it safely? You know, we wanted to make sure if you're on Instagram and you want to post photos and content that reflects your community, it's not getting banned because they were anti-black. We also created an app called Ku's Crowning uh, Corner. 
where we have the students who are in our classes all tapped in. So like Brother Cedric said, whether you're in Seattle, Chicago, Atlanta, and San Francisco, they all know that there's a network. There's thousands of brothers doing this work. And so we want to make sure that the digital space is recreated and also controlled to a degree by our students and by our youth who are using these tools and these resources for either an advantage or disadvantage. So we wanted just to make sure that that was available. And now we're back in the schools as well. So now that we are in person, yeah, if y'all like being back in person, make some noise. I can finally breathe. I, I, I'm just saying, like, it feels good to have to breathe a little bit. So um, now that we are, oh, thank you, brothers. If y'all would like to take a seat, I know it's hot up here. Um, Yes, now that we're back in person, these are the, the ways that we're engaging with our kings and our queens. So without further ado, Brother Bobby. And so what we wanted to do is recognize some of the student work that we got a chance to accomplish this year. One of the focuses for MCI this year was to focus more on student voice and leadership. Um, and so in doing that, we did a youth participatory action research project at two of our sites. And we have some students here um, that are going to speak to that work from Presidio. So if you would come on up, we would love to hear what you have to say. Let's give a hand for the students from Presidio. Don't be shy. These are your people. It's all good. Yep, yeah, come on here. question, what do safe places look like in our community? Each of my classes has picked a specific topic that relates to this question. We gathered the data for this by putting out a survey for students in our advisory classes to fill out and inform us on the following topics my peers will be talking about. The, da the data that we have collected is through a survey that we guests did put out during for our advisory classes has shown that a major amount of kids just at our school alone feel that they have been threatened that feel insecure or threatened about their own race or religion by other students or that the mental health at our schools are not doing enough to support Af to support the student body or well, the student body or that students inside of the student body are abusing it and it's not being regulated properly. Um, hi, my name is Michael and I'm an eighth grader at Presidio Middle School. Uh, and the topic that I researched was physical safety on school campus. And I believe this topic is important because if students aren't safe at school, they might not want to attend school. Uh, harm themselves or be physically harmed by others. And uh, some solutions to this problem, I think, would be to get more mental and physical health support from faculty and also um, making the campus more safe um, so students get, don't get harmed there. Thank you.
right, thank you. Let's give a hand for the students one more time. We know that public speaking is the scariest thing that anyone can do, so we really appreciate the students taking the time to prepare, but also having the courage to get up here and to speak. Next on our agenda, we have a special guest here today with us, um, our superintendent, Dr. Vincent Matthews, who is going to get up and say a few special words. Thank you, Dr. Matthews. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to say it again. Good afternoon, everyone. It is fantastic to see you all here. Um, you know, when I was growing up a long, long time ago, um, one of the things, as um, Brother, what's his last name? Piper. Brother Piper was saying earlier, there, is, uh, there are lots of narratives, lots of stories. And when I was growing up, the narrative about uh, being of African descent, having African blood, uh, being any part of Africa was negative. And uh, as I was coming up, growing up in the 70s, um, you did, either you didn't talk about Africa, or if you talked about it, you talked about it in a negative way. Um, for me, uh, there was a documentary on TV, it was called Roots. And that was one of the first times in the history of this country that uh, Africa was seen in a positive light. And unfortunately for me, that was when I was in high school. So what I'm really proud of is the fact that uh, my predecessor in San Francisco Unified, uh, Dr. Richard Carranza, he uh, believed in the importance of our young people, our uh, African American students receiving a high quality education. Uh, he knew that we as a district were not delivering on that promise. So he started Ali, an initiative to create a collaborative culture for African American students. Uh, Ali is still growing, we still have a lot of work to do, we still have a whole lot of work to do as a district. But out of Ali uh, came this initiative around mastering culture and identity. Uh, I saw the young men who are up here who were much younger. I'm, I'm going to assume none of them were in high school. I know for a fact none of them were in high school. And so they are having the opportunity at a much younger age to learn the importance of mastering their culture and how important it is to master identity. The importance of being proud of who you are and where you're from, being proud of having African, African blood in you, and knowing what that means and knowing what our people have accomplished over centuries and centuries and centuries. So I just wanted to come up here today and say how proud I am of the young men and women who are in the program. I also want to say how proud I am of the Alley team and all of the staff that are uh, a part of this uh, Mastering Culture and Identity program. It is exactly what should be happening. If you are going to go far, you have to know where you, you come from. And so that's what this is all about. And I'm so proud and so proud to be here. And I want to thank all of you for actually having faith and confidence to, uh, to have your young people in this program, because this is what we should be doing. And I want to thank you all. Thank you, Dr. Matthews. And now we're going to hear a few words from the director of Ali, Dr. Solyndra McCray. Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Solyndra McRae, and I'm the director of the African American Achievement and Leadership Initiative. So proud to be here with all of you all. This is one of the first events that we're hosting in person, and I can say that the turnout has been great. But we could not have done this without the support of you, parents, family members, the teachers, facilitators who are part of working with our students day in and day out the students for your relentless work and your pursuit in, in um, these endeavors. Kingmakers of Oakland has been a great partner with San Francisco Unified School District. So proud to um, continue this partnership. Thank you to the APAC for being here and always being supportive of us. Um, the Ali team for being here and being supportive. And anyone else who has been a part of making this production what it is. 
So now, without further ado, the reason you all have come, um, I'll pass it back over so that we can now crown our kings. Thank you. Woo! Woo! Great! Great! Uh, really quickly, guys, I just want to say hello, everybody. Hello. I'm John Shea Jones. I am the APAC program assistant, and I'm here to thank APAC. Um, if you guys don't know, APAC was super instrumental in bringing this to life, and they are here today. And, you know, I'm the program assistant, so I have the opportunity of being in community with our YPAR students um, and seeing them actually do their presentation over at Willie Brown. And so I was super, super, super proud of them. Shout out to those kings. Um, and shout out to Kingsmakers and allowing us to uh, partner and be in community together. And so thank you, APAC parents. You guys are really appreciated. Thank you for, you know, listening. Thank you for educating and thank you for advocating. You guys are awesome. Thank you. If you believe all black boys and girls are brilliant, beautiful, and possess innate greatness, make some noise. Right. It's time to present some of the awards we will ask Charles Drew to come. Charles Drew Elementary, Woo! led by facilitators Woo! Gerald and Rodney, Gerald Robinson and Rodney Stanford. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, me and my guy, Gerald, we're representing Kingmakers of San Francisco at Charles Drew Elementary School. I want to say it's been a beautiful year to watch these young kings grow into the young boys that they are and the young men that they're becoming. Um, in the beginning of the year, we asked them, uh, what do you know about Africa? What do you know about yourself? A lot of them didn't have any answers for us. Um, by the end of the year, when we just took our little exit, they all had it all together. They had all the answers. We did a nice uh, Kahoot Jeopardy thing. They played it and they mastered it. So I just wanted to salute our kings for showing up every day. Not every day was perfect, but every day was good. Woo! It wasn't perfect, but it was good. And I just want to salute them for uh, showing up. First, we're gonna have Rano. Rano, show him, come on up. Next we have King Hassan. King Javion. King Jordan. King Latrell. King Traquan. King Jamari. King Jalil. Let's give a round of applause for our young kings up here. Take the mic. Bro, Dante, let's give him a hand as he comes up. Yeah, he said, 
There you go. Um, yeah, you, you represent King. Again, continue to put your hands together as he makes his way down here. This is a, a man who has consistently been present in the classroom. He's invited us in um, and always made it a space for us to be there to support. So we'll give it up to him as he comes with his son. Thank you, Brother JP. Glad to be here. Uh, Dante Martin. Uh, what's your name, young Julian. This is my son, Julian. It was a pleasure. Glad to be here. Presidio, come up. Students of Presidio, come up, please. Thank you very much. Thanks, goodbye. We're going to call up our students. Uh, these students have been working hard all year uh, in the classroom, outside of the classroom. They've been taking time out of their advisory at the end of the day to work on this research program, and we appreciate everything they've done for us. And we have uh, four of our six here. And uh, can I call them up by name? Yes. Uh, first up, I know she's already spoke. We have uh, Renee is coming up. Come on up, Renee Williams. Nora Ibrahim. Nora! Nora! Stay up here. Stay up here. Renee, Renee, stay here. Caleb Bestman. Michael Matthew. And Justin Ware. Woo! Yeah, we appreciate all the work uh, these kings and queens have done all year. Yeah, they got half. They got half. It's crowded, sir. Step up, y'all. Give it up one more time, y'all. Give thanks. Give it up. Uh, Vince Valley and Star King. Vis Visitation Valley Elementary School and Star King Elementary. Led by facilitator Jeremiah Marshall. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Thank you, thank you. Uh, a lot of my students, most of them, all of them actually, couldn't make it today, so I have to accept this award on their behalf. But if they were here today, I would look at them directly and I would tell them this quote, because they have to write a quote in my class every day. I would tell them that if they wanted to go far, or if they wanted to go fast, go alone. But if they want to go far, go as a team, right? And this is a team effort. Everybody up here has spoken about us sticking together right and that's what i want the message to stick to them as they go on to element or to uh middle school right stick to each other stand by each other because it's only going to get harder as we start spreading out it's going to get harder to stay in orbit so i would tell them to stick together so i would appreciate you guys for being here today and recognizing their greatness and recognizing every student's greatness here today thank you guys Next, we want to recognize Bessie Carmichael and also Paul Revere, led by facilitator Brian Anderson Wooten. Yeah, I don't think any of my students made it either. Unfortunately, um, we, we were supposed to have a couple of them come. But the same thing that uh, Brother Jeremiah was saying, uh, it's been a hard year with Corona and everything. People have been uh, absent, but I had a lot of students come in strong. Uh, they dealt with a lot of things throughout their lives. Some of them have been, uh, been adopted. Some of them have faced abuse, but a lot of them came, came in hard this year. We had a lot of them made the honor roll, so I was really proud of them for coming back every day. Like, and so I, I echo the same sentiments to other students that got their hats there here. I'm proud of all you guys, and I'm proud of my students, even if they uh, haven't made it today. And I'm definitely going to let them know when I get to school tomorrow. All right. Woo! All right, and next we want to recognize Martin Luther King Middle School, led by facilitator Joy Van Haslett. Hello, good afternoon. Um, Got to make it three, I guess. Uh, my students are not able to make it today. 
I think the eighth grade activities um, got the best of them. They wanted to be around their friends. Um, but I would want to share how honored and grateful I am to have been a part of this program and to have got to meet my students. Um, we were only together for the last few months of school, but it's really become a space of healing and connecting. And I've learned so much about myself and the ways that I want to grow um, just by being in community with them. So thank you for having me here. Thank you all for being here and showing up. And um, yeah, just super grateful and appreciative right now. So thank you. Thank you. All right, next we want to recognize Willie Brown Middle School. I know that they had a graduation today, and I don't see Brother Caleb here, uh, the facilitator there. I believe he's still with the students at school. <laughs> we do have a former Willie Brown King here and representative. You want to come up and say a few words? Come on, King. Yeah. Willie Brown is in the house. So, um, I used to go to Willie Brown when I was in middle school, and through sixth and eighth, every year I had African American Achievement Leadership Initiative, and it was just amazing. I had like no, almost no knowledge of black history or black people at all when uh, I was going to Willie Brown. And by the time I was leaving, I knew so much about my culture, I knew so much about my history, I knew everything. And I absolutely love this program. <clears throat> and then in between classes, I will have a program called BSU, Black Student Union. I don't know if none of y'all ever heard of it, but it was amazing. It was dope. And I'm just, I'm just glad to see this, uh, this program again. Oh, my bad. My name is Joe McDonald. And I used to know him. I'm just uh, grateful that all the young kings and queens here can experience this program that I personally really enjoy myself. You guys can have it too. Thank you. Woo! Thank you, King Gerald. Thank you for representing Willie Brown as well, and thanks for just talking about your experience in the course. Uh, this is our fifth year in the district, um, and we're continuing to grow, and we look forward to growing and offering to more students. I do want to take a quick moment to recognize uh, Rafiki for allowing us to use the space. Thank you very much, Rafiki Coalition, for all you do in the community. Um, and we continue to look forward to partner with you. What I, what I do want to do is, um, I've actually been doing this work for a minute. I started over in Oakland, and I guess it's about my fifth year here in San Francisco. Um, the very first day I went out on the job, back 10 years ago when I was building out middle school case management for Oakland Unified, uh, the first thing that I really noticed is the backbone of this work are the brothers and sisters that are in the classroom with the young people. Um, an amazing facilitator, as Gerald will tell you, will help facilitate the growth to make our children amazing. Um, and so what I want to do is lift up our teaching staff for San Francisco Master and Cultural Identity that has done an incredible job this year. We have returners, but we have some new folks that came on, and this work was brand new to them. They were teaching for the first time as well, coming out of a pandemic. Um, and we had a rough start. There's, there's no question about it, but we managed to um, really take off this year, much more um, than I thought we would, quite honestly, given um, we had a lot of new folks, and but they were amazing how they were able to quickly pick up the learning curve, um, build community with the students, um, and with that said, um, they had a great year. So what I want to do is ask all the NCI facilitators to come up so we can honor you. Come on up. Thank you. We got some gifts of appreciation for you. Everybody, come on up. Come on, hop on that side over there for me. I, I really can't say enough about these people. We were 
we were in a meeting recently and I was talking about some of my leadership failures. And, and, and I, really, I really was pushing these guys hard. And so while a lot of folks were saying, we can't do it, we can't do it, I was like, we're serving our students and families. We got to do it, right? God bless the pandemic. But I don't know about you, but me personally, I just came back from Port Gibson in Patterson, Mississippi. Uh, I am from a share cropping family. And I remember growing up as a child, I used to be so ashamed of that. And I am so proud of that now for where my family has come, for where we've come. Like, uh, we ain't at the top of the mountain, but we started, uh, we started on the flats. We didn't even start on the mountain. So uh, I just want to honor my grandmother, Charity Warner, and my great-grandmother, Alma Carpenter, um, for, as well as my mother, for instilling the values in education um, in me. So I do know we're a resilient people. And these guys, they did a great job this year, and I pushed them hard, and, and they responded. And so what we want to do is recognize them with some gift cards. I don't know how much, how much is on these gift cards? 200 American. I like that. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, Rock. Thank you, Juro. Jeremiah and Dante. And Brother Camille Chapman is not here, but I also want to recognize the folks that commuted all the way across the bay uh, to work with our students twice a week in the Y Park. Brother Jonathan Piper, 200 American for you, sir. And Brother Khalil Chapman, who is not here. Jonathan, take Khalil's, please. I trust that you will get it to him. <laughs> Your street team, brother. Uh, I call him Chili, but Brother Khalil Chapman was commuting. He's at San Francisco State. He was commuting down on Thursdays and Fridays. Sac State. Sac State. Sacramento. Sac State. 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 Sac State to come down and work with your children. So much love to Brother Chili as well. My God. Um, it is my hope that all of you will be returning. We know Joy is going on to do amazing things, but I want to lift up Joy for coming in at the middle of the school year, coming in and just really going all in, right? She, she did what she needed to do to build relationships, um, to get closer to our students, to be able to... Uh, we believe that if we show our students how much we care, they will show us how much they know. Right? We're not expecting anything. If, they were, if they're not feeling us, how can we expect them to, to give us anything? Um, I, I promise to keep my words short today. So with that said, thank you to the facilitation team from San Francisco Master Culture Identity. Let's give it up one more time for these folks. Quick photo. What I've seen from these educators is a true testament to how much they love their students. Because I know at times being in these schools, the students don't show up, but the teachers are still there. So again, let's give it up for the facilitators and the educators for still being there. At this time, I would like to ask all of our students who were crowned today to come up and take a group picture. All of our students, all of our young folk, come on up and celebrate together. And that's right, give it up for them as they come up. Come on, y'all can do better than that. I say give it up for them as they come up. Come on, it's graduation day. Give them some graduation love.
Go, 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 kick, go, kick. No elbows, straight up, straight up. Right foot up, look at me. Right foot right 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 One, two, and three. Good job, y'all. Woo! And now, to close us out, right? To close us out, the impeccable, the amazing Adrian Henderson. Hey, yo, y'all. What we're doing is we're starting a legacy here, y'all. This is we did three, two crowning ceremonies, one in Oakland, today here in San Francisco, and we're gonna do one in Seattle. So next year, we're gonna keep building a tradition, a legacy of who we are as black folks. As you see. They still killing us, y'all. They still are killing us and they're still not valuing who we are. It's time for us to really keep stepping up, y'all, because we have a young generation of young people that need to keep pushing forward. We got to start with tradition. And these are one of the traditions that we, as a people, have always been a part of. Dr. Matthews, Salandra, thank you. All the educators, the parents. DJ Kwame, the Rafiki Center, to all the cousins and aunts who are here, the elders who are here, we can't forget y'all. So if you can please stand. Please stand, y'all. Please stand, we're about to get out of here. I just wanna say thank you y'all for coming out and supporting. We love you, we appreciate you. Let's keep pushing forward. So thank you for coming out, y'all. Bless. <laughs>